This is the Captain's Raptor, the modified overstable Raptor, and this is a normal Big Z Raptor. And today we're going to be comparing the Captain's Raptor to the Big Z Raptor to see just how overstable this thing is. Hole 1 is a perfect forehand shot at 310 feet. I'm going to start off with the Big Z Raptor because this should be a little bit more normal of stability, at least what I'm used to. We'll turn it over a little bit. If it can get before those pines, we'll be okay. <sighs> the back side of them, are you serious? <sighs> and that is gonna get before the pines. Holy crap. I messed with the Captain's Raptor back in the past when it first came out. And at the time, I thought for myself it would be more of a utility disc. It was just so overstable from what I remember. But now that I have maybe a little bit more arm speed, I'm curious to see if I can throw it somewhat normal. And that first shot was pretty good. Low key, the Captain's Raptor might be a really good disc for this hole now that I've thrown it once on it. I think I can rely on the overstability to get before those pine trees that I was just behind. And also, it appears that I can at least push it to have like a 20 footer. Let's go. Right off the bat, we can see how that stability would help us here, which is a good sign because sometimes how overstable something can be is kind of like a defect or or a negative thing, I should say. Hole two is dead straight at 335 feet. Clearly, the advantage should be to the Big Z, considering I just threw it a bit straighter over there. I think I could probably get a little bit more distance out of it. <sighs> threw that out on a bit of Anheuser. Fights the wind really well. That's actually probably gonna leave us with about a 20-ish footer. <sighs> Kind of the same thing there, but look how fast it's dumping. That has to be at least 50 feet shorter. Trying to put the Captain's Raptor on a little bit of Annie, even in a headwind, it's like it doesn't even affect it at all. Ooh. Hole three is gonna be an island green at 250 feet. The wind on this hole is more of a left to right. So I'm curious if the Captain's Raptor is gonna do a little bit better about getting to the ground and pushing over to the left, whereas the Big Z might finish a little bit straighter. Starting with the Captain. I'm pretty sure that went short OB. Put it out extra wide to try to allow it to have some room to get back and I think we threw it a little bit short. <laughs> maybe a little bit better. Has the extra distance maybe? That actually checks up. Definitely a little bit concerning when you have to throw that hard on a 260 foot hole with the Captain's Raptor, but also doing what it's supposed to do with that over stability. I'm curious if it got over or not. This 100% did not get over. I should be taking my OB stroke across the creek here, but a little bit too lazy. We're just gonna take it right here off of the other OB line. And plus I make a putt for you guys over there. I'm not gonna, that should be technically probably one extra stroke, but it is what it is guys. Hole four is a par four at 630 feet. This is clearly an absolute bomb on kind of both shots, especially with the Captain's Raptor. Gonna put this on a whole lot of Anheuser, see it fight out of it and maybe get a full flight out of it. I slipped a little bit. I mean, I don't think it really matters. Look how hard that fights out of Anheuser. Trying the same thing with the Big Z, just not as much Anheuser this time. Not as much Annie as I wanted to put on it, if any I did. But from there, I think we can reach the basket. Are you guys already bagging the Captain's Raptor? And also, have you tried the new Captain's Raptor in ESP plastic, I believe? I'm curious to know if that one's any less stable than the one I'm throwing today. Just to show you the difference in distance, that is the Big Z versus the Captain's here. Obviously what I found the Captain's Raptor to be best for is those forehand flex shots because you can kind of just chop down at them and you're going to be able to trust them to come out of it. <sighs> oh, get there. Oh, what a wind lift and then down. Luckily with the Big Z, I don't think we have to throw our arm out necessarily, but we can also throw a more flat shot. Oh, but I pulled it. The only thing good about that error is that it really showed you what the Big Z does when it's on so much angle versus what the Captain's Raptor does when it's on that same angle. Go. Yes. I'm actually putting semi-decent today, which is exciting news. 
If you guys are enjoying the videos, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. If you have any ideas for future videos, let me know down in the comments and I'll try to get those done. Hole five is gonna be a par four at 485 feet. We're gonna start off with the Big Z Raptor. We just wanna throw a nice flat backhand through these two left side trees. And if we can get anywhere past them, we should be in a good spot. <laughs> I don't even know if that's going to get past them. Look how stable that acted. What's kind of crazy here is that we do have a little bit of a headwind. And if the big Z Raptor is getting messed with, we definitely know that the captain's Raptor isn't going to get touched. <laughs> Dude, I try to put that on Annie too, and I just cannot. The biggest thing here is just not short arming this. It's okay to be more left than it is to obviously be in that pond. I don't really want to lose this today. <laughs> okay, that, that should be ultra safe, maybe. Get down and sit down. Oh. Okay, I think that fisherman over there scared me. I almost hit the barn because I tried to go way left. And by no means should he have been like in my mind to hit him, but just because he is in eyesight, I don't know if you guys ever do that like with cars. There could be a car like way off to the left side and then you just shank it way right because you're scared that the disc is gonna fade over there. Just a subtle fist bump so I don't scare the fish away from them. Tell me why this actually didn't even end up that bad. I thought it was way to the left. Apparently it's stability worked out in my favor. <laughs> oh. What a shank job for birdie, but hey, we'll take it. Last hole of the day is a 470 foot par four. There is some water off to the left side, so we're just gonna hack at some forehands here and get off to the right side and just play for obviously our birdie. <laughs> Oh, that's gonna be way too far right though. That's gonna be maybe some trouble. Got some nice turn out of that Raptor. Still fights out of it pretty heavily though, just not as much as the captain's. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> oh, little, little polting there. Raptor putt. <laughs> Oh, barely snuck it in. All right, guys, that is going to do it for the Captain's Raptor versus a regular Raptor. You can definitely tell how much more overstable the Captain's Raptor is and how straighter this big Z Raptor can be. Both still have some great stability. This really didn't get messed with with the wind too much, even though it is a little less stable. Raptors in general are gonna be kind of like the Innova Firebird, so they're still gonna be stable, but maybe not as overstable as the Captain's. Definitely in the past, I don't know if I had great things to say about the Captain's Raptor, but I think maybe my arm speed got a little bit higher and uh, I could somewhat throw this thing today. Let me know what you think about the Raptor. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and we will see you on the next one.